Hi guys, Jessica here. Today I'm gonna take you through my sole sculpt. So you don't need any shoes for this so you can work right down to the soles of your feet. We are gonna be using a mat and a set of light weights. I'm working with five pounds, but feel free to use something a little lighter, a little heavier, depending on your needs. We're gonna do lots of reps, so keep that in mind. Let's just start warming up here. Pushing off the floor, give me a step tap. Good, so I want you to think about using the outsides of your hips here for this side to side little push. We don't need a lot of space for this workout, that's the good news. And we're gonna add some arms, I want you to push forward. Press through the chest, good. Reach up, keep the push going. Just take it a little higher, keep using the legs. Take it forward for four. Overhead four. Good, now get a little lower in those legs. Take it back to the front. Back up. Perfect, take it back to your tap. Getting a little deeper in the legs. Let the body scoop down. Now give me a reach. Stretch through the side. Beautiful, sweep the arm across, turn the hips. Now as my arm comes across, I think about my abs getting tighter here. Take it back overhead, reach. Take it across. Tap it in. Good. Start to bring the heart rate up. Give me that push to the front for four. Overhead, reach. Again to the front. Take it up. We got two more just like that. Give me as much energy as you can. Front. Overhead. Here's your last set. Push forward. Take it up. Tap and reach. Stretch that side. Abs tight. Take it across. Take it back up one more time. Take it across, abs drawn in. Good, now you're gonna give me a side knee here. Pull. Let the shoulders turn into it, work in the abs. Now give me some arms. Pull down into it. Push off through those feet. Good, keep alternating. Nice, now we're just gonna let the arms come down. Repeat this knee, in. So I've got my weight on this standing leg. Good, switch legs. Take it up. Again, use those abs here. Now let's add the pull down with the arms. Take it in. Four, three, two, switch it up. Pull down, good, nice, single back out, here we go. For those of you that haven't met Peanut yet, here she is, she was gonna make an appearance today at some point. I knew that was coming, good, four, three, two, tap and hold. All right, so I think we're warmed up, we're ready to go. We're gonna get started with our first set using those light dumbbells. She's already ready, she's done. She's finished working out. <laughs> Go get your weights. So we're gonna start with a nice wide PA position. Knees and toes are open. Take it down and up right here. Weights at the hips. Get a nice stretch to those inner thighs. Good, four more like this. Two more. Now, take the palms in. You're gonna press up, turn away. So I'm rotating the palms in and out. Tailbone drops straight down to the floor. Good, keep those knees tracking over the big toes. Right peanut, you gotta keep that good form at all times. Excellent. Give me eight more. Good, keep that little twist, six. Four more here. Last two. Beautiful, take it back to the plie, down and up. Just breathe, you're doing great. 
Now, from here, we're going to work the backs of the arms. We're going to turn to the side into a lunge. Take it down and up. Now, keep lunging. Chest is up tall. You gotta work harder without shoes. You gotta do a little bit more balancing. Hold it down, give me a pulse. You're going, where's the arm in this, right? We're getting to it. Keep working those legs. Stay low, pull your elbows in tight. Squeeze your shoulder blades back and together. Hinge forward, tapping the back toe light. Give me an extension. Let me move back a little bit so you can keep seeing me. Now, if you can, we can add a little lift with the back leg. So really shift forward. We're just gonna lift it up. Don't swing your arms. I want a nice strong extension with those triceps. I'm looking straight down to help with my balance. Beautiful, give me eight more here. Eight, seven, six, five, that's it. Four more, three, two, now here comes the fun part. You're gonna hold it back, turn the palms up, squeeze and press. Now I'm working the back here too. Shoulder blades come back and together. Press with those straight arms. You feeling your triceps yet? Can you hold and pulse? Eight, seven, oh boy, lots in the standing like Six, five, four, three, two. Turn it back to the center, back to your basic plie. Woo. Feel the legs, feel the arms. Take a breath. Good. Now, turn to the other side. Give me the lunge. Down and up. Bending both knees. Make sure that front knee never goes past those big toes. It's hard to balance on a mat. Or carpet. Hold and pulse. Stay low. Keep that nice good lunge form. Back is straight, elbows in. So we're gonna hinge forward. Shift the weight into that front leg. Get ready for those extensions. Here we go. Take it back. Focus the eyes, shift your weight forward. If you're ready, add that leg. Nice long line through that toe. Chin to the chest, long neck. Breathe. Really squeeze those arms back behind you. Beautiful, press. Give me four more, then we're gonna go into that straight arm extension. Two. Straighten out the arms, turn the palms up. Pull the shoulder blades back and together. Keep on squeezing. Up. Yes. Ready? Can you hold and pulse? Here we go. Eight. Six. Four. Three. Take it back to center. Plie. Take it back. Woo, I am sweaty. How about you? Remember, we don't stop in our Live from the Living Room series. This is one take, one camera, it's just me and you. I am right here working with you. Open those knees. Good. Take it down and up. Give me four more, then we're gonna move on. We're gonna work the back and the chest next. So I want you to start with a pull down. Elbows are in. We're gonna come down and up. So I'm making a nice wide V at the top. Palms facing towards your head. As you bend your elbows here, pull them in down by the sides of your ribs. So really engage the back on the way down. Yes, we're still working those shoulders, but focus on the pull. Down. That's it. Good. Keep going. Eight more. Seven. Six. Use the sides of your back. Four, three, two. Beautiful. Hold and pulse. Stay down. So now we're going to push with the chest. Arms are going to alternate. Forward palm comes down. Other elbow is going to pull back. So I'm pushing and pulling. Front of the body, back of the body together. Abs in tight. Turn that palm down. Keep those knees over those toes. I'm 
Remember, the more we work the lower body, the more calories we're burning because we're working more muscles at once. We like that. Good. Stay with it. Four, three, two. Beautiful. Hold center. Turning back to the right side lunge. Pulse. So we're not going to go back to your triceps, don't worry. We're going to go into your upper back. We're going to hold the lunge, hinge forward, arms side, push back. Go side. All right, so I lied. There's a little tricep in here. Sorry. It's because I love you. You like the back of the arm work, right? Try to hold that lunge. Palms up as your arms go back. Good. Now make sure you're not throwing your weight around. Show me control. Four. Press. Three. Press. We got two more. Last one to the side. Last one to the back. Come back up. Hold. Good. You ready to turn back to me? Open out, elbows in. So we're gonna go all the way back to the shoulder press and pull. Full range of motion with the legs. Take it up, pull down. Deep breaths. Squeeze down that back. Good, knees over your toes. Good. So this kind of strength training helps us get a little cardio in at the same time, right? I don't know about you, but my heart is beating pretty quickly. We don't need any cardio intervals to do that. Two more. Hold it down. Now we're going to start with this arm. Take it front, pull this arm back. Switch. Right in front of the chest and the shoulders. Push and pull. Stay low. Good. Reach it. Come on, we got this. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, one. Turn it to the side. Woo! Are you ready? Up to the back and triceps. You're gonna hold that lunge. Take it down low. Take it side and back. So the back palms up to the side, palms down. That's it. Out, push back. Open, press. Push down through your toes and your heels on that front foot. Good. We're strengthening the ankles by getting rid of your sneakers. That's why I love to train barefoot sometimes. Good. I need two more sets. Last one. Take it back. Good. Keep the weights. Pulse. Now, we're going to let these legs have a break. Come back to the center. Tap. You feel those thighs? Oh, yeah, I do too. Just tap and breathe. Now, we're going to go back to that basic shoulder press, but we're going to alternate. Palms are in. Looks like this. Press it up. Good. Can't let you rest for too long. Don't lock your elbow at the top. You should be able to see the weight out of your corner of your eye as you press it up. In other words, it's not behind your head. Slightly in front. Good. That's it. We got eight more. Seven. Step it wider if you want more. Five. Four. Three. Two and one. Beautiful. Now hold it here. Back to your tap. So now we're going to work through the biceps. But we get to steady the feet for this. So I want you to take your feet all the way together. Squeeze through your inner thighs. You're going to sit back into your hips. Squeeze the knees together. Palms. Come up, down. Turning to the side so you can see my alignment. You can stay forward. Up and down. So as we hold this seated chair pose, imagine you're reaching back for a stool behind you with those hips. Get low, rotate up, squeeze. 
Good. Now don't stress by looking up at me. Just drop your chin to your chest. Keep your neck long. I'll tell you when we're going to change this. Good. Now I'm going to go back to that side view for you for this next move. Shoulders and upper back. Hold that chair pose. Pull the arms in. Alternate reaching right outside your ear. Oh yeah. Now, don't do this. Don't stand up. Stay low. Your spine is nice and long. Can you see the sweat dripping off me right now? I am working right here with you. So the thumbs are up. The end of the weight is straight up to the ceiling here. Eight more alternating. Seven. Six, stay with me. Five, get it up to the side of your ear. Four. Three. Come on, two more. One more on both arms. Take it back to the center tap. Ah, oh, good job. Take a second, rest the legs. I'm gonna do that one more time from that overhead press. Alternating your arms, ready? Push it up. Use the floor. Abs tight, back tall. Good, just let it go. Don't lock that elbow. Remember, if you want more, take it wider. Think of pushing down and up. That's it. That's eight. Seven. Six. Five. Four. Three. Two. And one. Back to your tap. You ready to go back into chair pose? I know. Feet together. Here we go. Take it down. Sit low. How about I turn to this side this time? Yes? Now make this about your inner thighs too. Pull your knees together. Squeeze your ankle bones together. Chin to the chest. Just for the heck of it. Can you go an inch lower with your bum? Oh yeah. The answer may be yes. Stay low if it is. Eight more. Seven. Six. Five. Think about how awesome we're gonna feel when we are finished. Last two. Now, take it up in front of the shoulders. Palms in, alternate your press. Switch. Stay low. Keep the spine long for me. Aha. Good. Stay down. You ready for our last eight? Let's do it. Six. Five, lower. Four. Three, come on, you can do this. Two more on both arms. Oh boy, if it's burning, it's working. One more. Last one. Woo, come back up. You did it. Now, we get to go to the floor. So I want you to just make your way down gently to the ground. We're gonna come to a kneeling position. Now, I'm on a little harder surface, but the mat's enough for my knees. But if you need more, put a pillow or fold your mat underneath the knees here. We're gonna press the hips forward with the abs tight. The elbows come back, you're gonna squeeze. Now, don't do this. Push your pelvis forward, extend. Think about sending your knuckles to the wall behind you. Abs in tight. Just point your toes, relax the tops of the feet on the floor. Now, we're gonna add on to this by adding a little press as the arms stay extended. Let me show you what that looks like. It's one, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. Uh-uh, not here. Push in. One, two, three, four. Now, the shoulders wanna round forward, right? 
Don't let that happen. Open your chest. There's a little stretch across the front of the chest here. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, bring it back to the center. We're going to hinge back, matrix style. Come back. Press up. Palms stay in. Hinge. Now, I don't want you to arch your back as you hinge. Try to keep a relatively straight line between your knees and out through your head. So you gotta work the abs, front of the thighs, back gets involved on the way back up, front of the shoulders, even the biceps are going. Give me eight more. Squeeze, seven, good. Six, eyes are straight ahead. Five, four more, don't arch. Three, palms in. Last two, we got it. One more. Beautiful, now, go ahead, come all the way to a sitting position. So we're gonna get into your chest a little more here. How you doing, you okay? So we're gonna lay back, come all the way down, and I want you to go ahead and take the arms up to the ceiling, abs are in tight, and we're gonna keep the palms facing, open out to the side, exhale, squeeze, inhale, and exhale. Now, if this is hard enough, stay here, but if you can, give me a little crunch at the top. So we inhale down, just lifting the top of the shoulders and the head off the floor. We're gonna keep it slow. Back, hug the arms together. Inhale, back, exhale up. Eight more. Seven, squeeze your inner thighs. This is six. Five, four, three, you're doing great, come on. Give me two more. Last one. You did it. Now, let's go ahead and come all the way up. Turn over onto your hands and your knees. So we're gonna keep those weights right underneath the shoulders. Extend your opposite leg back. This front arm, your palm is gonna turn up as you do that row. Now, if you have this, try to lift that back foot. Keep it long, toe is pointed. And I'm gonna show you one more optional variation. Bring it in, extend it out. That's too many spices in the pot at once. Just stick with one version that works for you too. Palm up. Takes a little coordination and focus, right? Keep going, squeeze it. Try not to lean to the side with the torso. Shoulders are square. Give me four more. Three, two, and one. Great job. Now, let's go ahead and turn around. I'm gonna do the other side. You stay where you are. Opposite leg back. Start with just the arm. Palm turns up. If you're ready for more, lift the leg. Good. So remember, it's your option to stay here, or you can try that heel curl right now. Use your abs to keep your body still. Focus your eyes on the floor. You got this. Pull with that back. Give me final four right here. Last two. Oh yeah, great job. Now, set the weights to the front of the mat. We're gonna come out to a plank position. So I want you to take your hands under your shoulders, extend the legs back, Abs are tight. You're gonna bring one knee into your chest, nice and slow. Come back and switch. Exhale. Good, 
a little bit quicker. Connect to your abdominals. Squeeze that knee to your chest. Shoulders over the hands. Strong, straight arms. Keep that back knee pulsing in. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two. Come back. Come down. Take a breath. Woo! All right. Can't do a workout without push-ups. Ask anyone that takes my class. You always got to do some form of push-ups. So here's the deal. Take your hands wide. Come onto your knees, just cross your ankles. Feel free to go on your toes if you want. We're gonna come down, two counts, tapping the chest, coming back up. Inhale, exhale. Exhale away from the floor. Keep the abs tight, don't let your hips sink, don't let the booty come up. Two more. Last one. Sit back and stretch. Nice work. Are you ready to try all that one more time? Yes, you are. Okay, coming back. Do you remember what we did? You're in the kneeling position with the weights, back to those triceps. So we're gonna start off just with that extension. Back. Push your hips forward. Get ready for that matrix pose. Abs in tight. Squeeze. And if this just does not work for your knees, feel free to take it to standing. Eight more. Really send your knuckles back. Six. Four more. Then we're going to add that little lift. Two. It slows down. Take it back and up. One, two, three, four. Back, up. Stretch across the front of that chest. That's it. Good, good. Press. Watch those hips. Push them forward. We got it. Two more. Last one. Good. Now, bring it in front. Palms in. Hinge it back for me. Press up. Palms stay in. Think matrix. Hinge back. Straight line. Now, here's the deal. You don't have to go that far back. Even just to here, I feel it. So watch that spinal alignment. Don't lose it just in the name of going back further. Deep breaths. Exhale up. Oh boy. We got four more. Three. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Let's come down to seated. I'm going to work that chest fly again. All the way down. Ooh, that mat is getting sweaty. Come on down to your back. Palms face away. So we're going to go right into it. Open it out. Remember, you don't have to have the crunch unless you feel ready. Exhale on the way up. Squeeze through the midline of your chest to close your arms. Don't let your arms touch the floor. The shape of the arms are staying the same as they open and close. Okay. Squeeze the knees. Together, let's keep those inner thighs going. Four more. Three more. Give me two to finish. Last one. Yes, nice work. Now, bring the arms in. Slowly sit up. Let's transition onto the hands and the knees. Take the weights with you. So we're going to start with that opposite leg back. Let's go ahead and lift it and see if we can go right into the curl version. Ready? Palm up, heel comes in. 
Eyes down. Steady your body. Abs in, don't lean it. You got this. Long spine. Good, deep breaths. Give me eight more, then we'll switch it. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, last one. Good, let's turn it around. So get set up on the other side. Hands underneath the knees, opposite leg back and lifted. Ready? Abs tight, let's go. Focus the eyes on the floor. Strong center. You got it, come on. We're already to our last set of eight. Let's do it. Eight. Six. Four more. Two more. Nicely done. Now set the weights down in front. Yes, we gotta go back for our push-ups. So we're just gonna do eight solid. Try to tap your chest on your mat. Hands out wide on the knees or on your toes. Take it down for two. Exhale away from the floor. Chest goes right between the thumbs as you come down. Two more. Last one. Beautiful. Now let's come out to our planks. We need to bring the hands a little closer together. Take the toes back. Front knee comes in. Squeeze. Switch, squeeze, single tempo, in. Keep the hips low. You ready for that repeater pulse? Give me eight with that front knee. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, switch. Eight, seven, six, five, four, three, two, release. Come on down. Stretch back. Woo we are in the home stretch. So let's turn onto the side here. Pop yourself up onto your elbow. So you're lifting away from the floor with the wrist. Top hand is just gonna come to our hip here. Bottom knee is bent, just give me a lift. Watch that bottom elbow. Keep it right underneath you. Four more, nice and easy. It's gonna get harder. Don't worry. Now, as you lift the leg, lift the hip. Up, tap down. Tap down. Whole bottom side. Working big time. Eight more. This is four. Two more. One more. Come on down. Bend both knees. Turn all the way down. Bring your shoulder down. Hands behind your head. Give me a lift up. Pull your top elbow to that top hip. Uh-oh, here she comes. She always shows up at the end of the workout, like you did all the work, right, Peanut? Now you're gonna lick the sweat off my elbow, thank you. Can you count for me? We got eight more, eight. I told you, it's live from my living room, puppy and all, four. Last two. Okay, thank you. We're going to the other side. So we're gonna switch right into it. Ready, lift that leg, just the leg.
Peanut and I are working on a routine that we can do together so she can actually participate. She's too lazy like this. Lift that hip, let's go. Good. We are getting there. Eight more, let's do it. Come on, help me count. Four more. Last two. Woo, come down to hold, bend those knees. Turn onto the side. Take your top elbow to your hip. Peanut, they can't see my form. Come on, move over. So focus on shortening that top side as you lift. Now, stop. Try to get that bottom shoulder to come all the way off the floor. Give me eight more. Four. Last two. Come all the way up, good job. Now, from here, we're gonna sit up, crossing the ankles, give me a little hinge back. Sit up into it. So my hands are there if I need them, but if you can, you're gonna reach to the front. Even more, take it behind the head. Now I'm squeezing my inner thighs as I straighten out those legs. Don't let your back round. Keep the abs tight. Four more. Two. Now, go ahead and come down onto your back. Extend the legs up straight. We're gonna do a little crisscross and hip lift. Looks like this. So we come out, up, lift, and down. Out, up, lift, and down. If you want a little more, lift the head, neck, and shoulders. Keep that control. You don't have to go high with the hips. Just a little tuck of that tailbone. Now, keep the left leg crossed on top. Bring your head back down, just do the hips. Squeeze. You have got to come back here. Taking the hands away actually makes it harder, so feel free to reach the arms overhead. I have to hold my puppy back for this one. Two more. Good, now let's go back to the beginning. Go ahead and sit all the way up. Go back to that extension and reach. We got the other leg on top. So again, here if you can, or here. I think the second set I need to be here. Loosen to your body. Use the abs. Still got the legs going. Can we do four more? Four. Three. Two, last one. Great job, come on back. Legs up, head, neck, and shoulders lifted if you can. Crisscross hip lifts. Peanut, come back. Head back. Just the hip lifts. Four to finish. Two. We did it. Hug those knees into the chest. Come on up. We're gonna move on to the hands and the knees. <laughs> so we're moving on to the hands and the knees. You're gonna step one foot forward, stretching out that back thigh and hip. Now your hands can stay on the floor, 
or you can walk up to the thigh, pressing forward. If you want to go a little further, reach the arms back. Breathe. Take your hands to the floor. Extend that front leg out. Now let's stretch the top of the foot while we're here. Bring your hand to the top of the foot. Gently press your toes into the floor. We have muscles on the top of that foot too we forget about sometimes. Bring it in. Let's go to the other leg. So we're gonna step forward into that lunge here or hands up or hands overhead. Hands down, shift your weight back, extend the leg, stretch the top of your foot. Good, let's come to a sitting position, crossing one leg in front of the other. Take a deep breath in, stretch forward over your thighs. Relax your head, neck, and shoulders. Thank you. Can you just sit down? Yeah? Stretch with me. <laughs> Come up, stretch to the side. Other side. Oh, the joys of working out at home. And Peanut and I would like to say thank you for joining us for our workout today. And we'll see you next time. Bye, guys. Say bye.